Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the main release. Microsoft released the last non-security update for the main release of the year 2022. In the month of December, because of the holidays, we won't have a non-security update such as this one from the month of November. But this update, of course, it's a pretty nice update that comes with a lot of changes. And also, again, the moment two features are hidden and can be enabled in this build. The build that we're talking about today Today is the build 22,000 621.900. This is the latest build for the main release. And if you've installed it, you can easily enable the Moment 2 features as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the Moment 2 features in the main release. What are those features, of course? And additionally, we're going to talk about what is new, particularly in this build. If you enjoy videos like these, in which we talk different Windows 11 updates for the main release, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysFan.com. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal Windows Office and software licenses. They have a new sales event which is called Double Eleven. In this event, you will have great prices for a lot of products. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11. Alternatively, you can use the license on Windows 11 directly if you want to activate it. You also have Windows 11 and Office licenses if you're interested in those. Check out the great prices in this sales event in the links from the description below which have a discount pre-applied for the subscribers of my channel. Thank you to keysfan.com for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. So as I've said, we're on the build 22,061.900, the latest build. First of all, let me show you how to enable the Moment 2 features that are hidden in this build. Of course, we're going to need to use Vive tool, but the difference will be that we don't have to run a command for every single feature. We only have to run two commands that were discovered by Phantom Ocean 3. So go ahead and follow him on Twitter because he does a great job by finding these hidden features and better ways of enabling different features. So we're going to have the downlink for Vive tool in the article go below from the website in the description. Just download the latest version.zip. You can just open it up with the file explorer and then you can click on extract all and click on browse and then extract this into the system 32 location in this PC, local disk C, windows, and then scroll down to system 32. Select it, click on select folder and then click on extract. Click on continue a few times so that Vive tool will be completely set up on your computer. Now you're going to have to open up the search box, type in here CMD and then click on run as administrator. On your account control, click on yes. In CMD you're gonna have to copy and paste in these two commands that will be in the article below in the video's description. The first one is vive tool slash enable slash id 38764045. Press enter and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. And also the second command is vive tool slash enable slash id 39281392. Press enter. Yet again, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. And to have all these enabled and the changes take effect, just restart your computer. And now after the restart, we have the Moment 2 features enabled on the main release. Let me show you what the Moment 2 features are on the main release. First of all, we have the new tablet optimized taskbar. If we go into taskbar settings, you're going to notice that you have this new option, optimized taskbar for touch interactions when this device is used as a tablet. This is a new option regarding the tablet optimized taskbar. We have the new system tray with a new rearranged system, new animations and so on that looks very very nice. We also have the live file explorer search in the file explorer so if I were to type something here I'm gonna see results in real time as I type the search terms. Also in the settings app I will be able to notice the new energy recommendations in power and here energy recommendations that basically will recommend some energy saving recommendations to lower the carbon footprint and of course increase the battery life of a laptop for example. We also have improvements for the task manager. If you right click on the task bar and then click on task manager you're going to notice that we have the new search bar, some new options regarding the theme, the app theme, light, dark or use system setting and also some updated UIs for example for the efficiency mode. And also in task bar settings you'll be able to notice this new drop down touch keyboard, show touch keyboard icon and you're going to have three options never always or when no keyboard attached. Now 
now you may be asking, well, if the Moment 2 features are hidden in the May release, why doesn't Microsoft just release them officially for everyone? Well, these features maybe still need some improvements and also I'm pretty sure that Microsoft will add more features to the Moment 2 update that will be somewhere next year. So I think that we're gonna see more features than what we have here hidden in the Moment 2 features in the main release. So now let's talk about some new improvements that are particular to this build of the main release. So we have some updates regarding the Microsoft Store. Microsoft addressed an issue that affects some apps that were not signed by the Microsoft Store. You must reinstall them after you upgrade the OS. And also they addressed some issues that causes updates to the Microsoft Store to fail. I've had this numerous times. Microsoft also addressed an issue that affects the Windows search service. It causes the indexing progress for the service to be slow. Also, Microsoft addressed an issue that affects some processors. The issue occurs when you turn on Hyper-V and kernel direct memory access protections. And also, of course, some issues that affects Task Manager were addressed. It stops working when you switch between light and dark mode or change the accent color. Microsoft also added some more dynamic content to the taskbar with notification badging. If you open the widgets board while a badge displays on the taskbar, a banner will appear at the top of the board where you're going to see more information about what triggered the notification badge. And of course, we have a Windows 11 service and stack update, which is basically the component that ensures that you receive Windows updates reliably. We have the update stack 22,061.378. I think this update for the main release is a good one that improves quite a lot of features in Windows 11 and fixes quite a lot of issues. And of course, if you want, you can enable the moment to features. And I think that is really, really cool. Don't forget to check out the article below in the video description. For more information about this build, the download link for Vive tool and the commands that I've used in this video to enable the Moment 2 features. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech-based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.